Hello and welcome to FS19 Mod Review. Today we are looking at FS19 new trucks and we have the MAN TGS 18500 Bell Autoloader truck. Now this is made by part of the NLD community. Uh, I'm UK Gamer 808 and I'll be taking you on this first look mod review of this cracking new truck. So here it is, the MAN TGS 18500. Now, cost wise, it's £180,500 to purchase, and your initial leasing cost is £9,205. Now, it's not too bad on slot count where we're talking minus 21, which it you know not too bad on that whatsoever so we've got the twin wheels on the back there and all the detailing of this it looks beautiful i do like these trucks they come out really well they really do when you connect it up all the hoses working on the back there as well which is uh, pretty cool and we we have got an engine upgrade where you starts off the standard one is 500 horsepower and then you can have the extra upgrade to the 875 horsepower for 7,500 pounds. We have lizards, you can see we've got the lizards on this one at the moment and you can have the trail bogs which I've got on the other trucks which I'll show you a little bit further on down the road. So auto load, now it's a little bit different auto loader to the previous auto loaders we've had. So let's jump in and we'll turn the help window on so we can show you what the crack is. So start the bloody engine. And we have a pile there, ready to go. Now it has got the straps on the back and that's one of the things at the moment, these straps don't recognize anything, which I'll show you. So we've got the operator position, hold down the L, our L1 on PlayStation, be equivalent on expert box, and then operating position, transporting position. So whatever it shows you is the opposite. So at the moment we're in the transporting position because it shows the operating position. So now if we drive up to that, it won't do anything. And this is the, the main thing with autoload is you just gotta re remember which position it's in. Especially if it's not a full trailer because you'll drive past another stack and take it out. So that is the bales loaded. And then we go into the transporting position. And this is when you can normally put the straps on, where on the other auto loaders we can unload the bales onto the back of the truck. So when we go to unload bales, it jumps to the side. Now this auto load, you can't maneuver the stack, it just comes to the driver's side, each side. So you can't do anything about it. it there is no collision when it's in this state, so you can maneuver it around. But it has got the abort unload in and you click that and nothing bloody happens I take it that should go back on the truck so what you have to do is well we'll unload it anyway just to show you how to unload so click unload once then unload bales again and they all drop down just like that so back to transporting operating position put them all back on again and there they are now when I saw it, I thought, wow, they're four bales high, where most of the trailers will only let us do three bales. And you're gonna think, oh, stability-wise, is an issue. Well, it's not, it's not. I, this is what I do not understand. I've had so many problems with bale trailers and transport that, uh, you know, they prove to be pretty unstable. So we go flat out and we turn hard right, what happens? Nothing. We stay upright, the actual wheels don't dig in as much, you can see we come up to this next one, as you start turning it's more going straight than than actual turning, which I think helps you from flipping it over. Now you can flip it over, but uh, to do that, I f the only way I find when I've been testing this bad boy out is when you've got a trailer on the back. So you can see how well that, that was, you can just turn flat out and let's let's get in the the round. So now I've got the Flegel trailer on the back and already on the front we have 40 
round bales. So we've got 40 on there, that's, uh, that's crazy. That's more than on the back. How mad is that? Where the back needs configuring. So now we're going a little bit quicker and you see that back trailer just wants to go right I was just going to say, yeah, we sorted it out and we got it up right again, but we didn't. Right, so that trailer's gone, but the beauty about this truck as well, the self writing let's disconnect. Just drive forward a little bit, bang, straight up. How good is that? That's pretty awesome. Now, I did, if you do try and put this upright, because if it's a smaller trailer, it will do it. But because it's a larger trailer, although we, we're holding more bales, whoop, you see it just flips us straight back down again. But same thing, self writing. How easy is that? Why aren't all vehicles like that? Why aren't all bale transports more stable like this is? This is just cool. It's really good. You go flat out, 57 mile an hour. All right, you turn and yeah. <laughs> but self rights, look at that, no issues. Right now, I haven't sold any bales yet, so let's go and give it a go. So if it's only a little bit of an issue if you're pulling one of the other trailers, it'd be nice if uh, all these trailers got sorted so they weren't so top heavy. And are we gonna get in here? we are going to get in here now when they're on the back like this as well there is no collision on it so you can put do anything with it it uh, doesn't matter they're as if they're not on the back you can even stack more bales on the back so now we want to get rid of them we go to hang on and we're on the wrong side as well not that it matters I suppose but we do it on the right hand side because it is the, the left hand side sorry driver side unload bales here and there they go unload bales sold so no issues selling the rain ones whatsoever now we have got color choices for it as well where well, we've got the colors for the rims there's uh 29 different colors so rim colors were extra 300 pounds and then you add the main color uh 29 different colors those loads on there three thousand pounds for that and then the design color which is the back there is 1500 and we didn't go through the lighting let's have a quick look at the lighting so there is quite a bit of lighting on it obviously we've got the beacons and we've got the beacon on the back as well and then the lighting wise we've got these little side lights and lighting down the side of the trailer as well which is uh, pretty cool i like that nice job right so let's get the next one unloaded and we've got the square one. You can see it all looks pretty tidy here. With all the cables that plugged in. Awesome. Right, we won't take that trailer through, I don't think. We will just take that through. Yeah, let's go for that. But I just can't believe how stable it is. It's awesome i never thought we'd get anything which is that stable with so many bales up as well all right so this time let's see if if it will if we can drop it off if we're just in the middle there yep it will it's got no collision on and load bales there and there they go all sold no problems so the, the one thing about the truck then really because you've got the square and the round you want to be doing rain bailing well it's it's a bit of depends what you want really because the rain bailing when you're doing that you have to stop to unload where the square one you just keep going but the square one you're not getting as many bales where on the back of this one you get 28 square bales rain bales you get 40 now you get the same amount for them in litres so this one the rain bales you can carry a hell of a lot more one of the things I would like to change and I bet the modders go oh bloody hell we just made this and you want to change it but this bit on the back it'd be nice if that was removable or that was even a ramp so we could actually use it for multi purposes 
because the straps do work I've had stuff on the back and it does strap it all down it just doesn't strap the bales down whereas on these other trailers like I showed you earlier you can drop them down and drop it onto the trailer but on these ones it won't where are we there we are Righto, well that's it for the MAN TGS 18500 new truck for FS19. So that was your first look mod review on the MAN TGS 18500. What a cracking stable truck. Why can't they all be like that? It'd be absolutely awesome. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And if you did, I always appreciate it if you smash that like button for me. And if you are new to the channel, why not go and check out one of my hundreds of other farming simulator videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.